Welcome back to the channel everyone. Today I have a very important message for all apes. Now you may have seen this morning a whole bunch of articles being released about how the AMC movement is fading. You may have also seen this short ladder attack that happened this morning as soon as the pre-market was opened. You can tell it's a short ladder attack because it was based off absolutely minuscule volume of 2,000 shares, taking the AMC stock down from $44 to around $41, nearly almost $40. But guys, I can assure you this is absolutely FUD. Fear, uncertainty and doubt. So today I want to explain why this is FUD, why the mainstream media is doing this, why this is their last chance to try and convince you to sell your shares and why you shouldn't be too worried. Trust me guys, you do not want to miss this video. So stay tuned and let's make some money. But before we dive into the video, I just want to give a massive shout out to the 1000 of you that have currently dinged that notification bell because you guys are always the first to watch a new video as soon as it's released. So guys, be sure to drop a like down below, subscribe to the channel and ding that notification bell if you haven't already so that you don't miss another video just like this one. And now I want to dive straight in with the key information. So this here is the first bud article of the day as meme stock momentum fades, AMC and GameStop fall. Shares in so-called meme stocks with a following among retail investors lost ground on Wednesday with AMC Entertainment shares down 8.1% on track for their fourth straight day of declines. Supposedly, the momentum is fading and the enthusiasm is fading, said Michael O'Rourke. They've been pushed well beyond the appropriate fundamental valuation levels, so we're starting to see some air come out. Some other stocks such as New Egg Commerce up 120% and Data Storage Corp up 39% were in demand on Wednesday as they took their turn in the spotlight on forms such as StockTwits. Yes, people have made money, but I also think there's a lot of retail investors that have lost a lot of money being involved in those names, said O'Rourke. The most recent rally has run its course. I cannot predict the future, but I do think the longer this goes on, the idea becomes less compelling. Now you can tell this is a FUD article because the momentum is definitely not fading. Wall Street Bets and YouTube are seeing record breaking views for AMC on pretty much still a daily basis. Clearly the mainstream media is just trying to distract apes and retail traders from the AMC movement by trying to swing them to different stocks such as Newegg and Data Storage Corp. And now the second FUD article of the day, which is absolutely ridiculous and just to get a clickbait title. Former Wall Street floor trader thinks AMC will continue to drop, but yet he buys the GameStop stock. Long-term trader David Green thinks AMC Entertainment Holdings could continue to drop down to $40 a share. I don't like AMC here, I think it's going down to $40. But yet he then went on to purchase shares in GameStop for around $178 and then sold them again for $180, so made a $1.80 profit per share. Clearly the ex-Wall Street trader doesn't know that GameStop and AMC are very, very closely related and the chart patterns basically mirror each other. Evidently, Bazinga were just trying to get a clickbait article to mix and match a former Wall Street trader and something negative about AMC. Next up, we then have an article from Barron's, AMC and GameStop stock set for longest losing streaks since May. Although interestingly, the article even says and admits that there didn't appear to be news moving the stock either. Moves in the shares of AMC and GameStop have tracked more closely with technical trading factors like options volume, short seller interest and social media fueled momentum. Clearly the hedgies and the mainstream media are just trying to get the apes to panic and paper hand and sell their shares of AMC but it's not going to work because the apes are going to hold strong. So why today of all days is there so much FUD in the media and why today are the hedge funds performing these short ladder attacks to try and get the AMC stock below $40? Also, I just wanted to quickly let you all know that I've just set up a private Discord. So for what? The price of a large coffee? You've got somewhere to discuss AMC and all things ape, whether that's talking about the recent news stories, posting some due diligence or sharing some memes and helping each other out. It will be like a private version of Wall Street Bets, but without the bots, without the shills and without the hedgy intruders. As I've said in some of my other videos, the AMC stock is currently on the NYSE threshold securities list. And I think a few people are getting a bit confused as to when that 13 day deadline actually is. So to start off with, if we have a look at the definition for the threshold securities list, a threshold securities list, also known as Regulation SHO, threshold securities list, is a list of securities whose transactions failed to clear during the previous trading days. Now we know that part. A threshold list is a list of securities that failed to settle in the previous five trading days. So at the point that a stock is added to that threshold list, they've already exceeded the maximum number of FTDs for five consecutive days. 
and therefore when the AMC stock was added to this threshold securities list on the 25th of June, again we know it's the 25th of June, not the 24th of June because the stock isn't there on the 24th, it's the 25th, that there is day number five. So if the 25th of June was the fifth day, we've then got six, seven, eight, nine, ten days. The Monday was a bank holiday, 11, 12, 13 days. So the Thursday today is the 13th day. We can see that the AMC Entertainment stock was on that list yesterday, the 7th of July, and is likely to remain on that list today, the 8th but obviously the data isn't yet out. And that means at the end of today, those failure to delivers are going to have to be covered. Although something I didn't actually consider is I don't know whether they have to close all of the failure to delivers by market close today, or if it's on the 14th day tomorrow that those positions will be closed as soon as market opens. However, I think that based on the price action today, the hedgies are evidently very scared of the price action that we've seen over the last few weeks and are doing absolutely everything they can to try and beat down the AMC stock and get it below $40. Guys, be sure to let me know down in the comments below why you think today of all days there's so much FUD and why they're doing short ladder attacks like this in the pre-market hours. Guys, if you want to pick up some shares in AMC, but you haven't even yet signed up to a trading platform yet, be sure to check out the links down in the description below to get some free shares with very low minimum deposits. You can currently get two free shares worth up to $2,300 with Webull if you're in the US with only a $5 minimum deposit and a free share worth up to £200 with free trade if you're in the UK or Europe with only a £1 minimum deposit. And as always, guys, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to check out some of my others. Alternatively, subscribe to the channel and ding that notification bell because that way you'll be alerted when I upload a new video. Cheers.